as always, we have stuff announced before the showcase. I mean, maybe they just want to detract or whatever the attention from the headset and focus on the games, which that's what's supposed to be showcased about. So maybe it's a good idea for them to announce the quest free now because, well, it's been leaked 20 minutes before they put out the video or leaked like. Now there's nothing's leaked, everything's planned. So the thing is that, uh, of course, it's gonna be better than uh, quest, for, quest 2. Duh. I'm just thinking what's my position personally with the Pro. It's like this launch of that headset was so awkward in space and time that you just always contemplate having this headset if it's worth it. Like every single day, <laughs> just watching the news and stuff like that. I don't know, honestly. I mean, maybe after the price change, which is amazing. Not for me, because I paid like, what, what, 2000 for it? Like, let's see the video first, because they put out a small video about it. <laughs> What's funny is that uh, the, they already showed some games that are not available, so... The idea of the Pro was like that, to first release the tech out there for the developers or whatever, for people who want to get it first and then later for consumers, you have like, you know, the budget options, which that's just how the technology overall works. So this slimmer, because of the pancake lasers, the pancake lenses are exactly the same from the Pro. I already see because of the edges. A lot of people are telling that uh, this headset will be amazing because of the performance. No, the headset will be amazing because of the lenses. Because the lenses actually change uh, everything in terms of the visuals, clarity. Not even that, like however you move your headset on your head, you look at stuff through them exactly the same. Meaning there is no like sweet spot. I for the pro especially i wear it like kind of on top of my head because of the recordings because i want to have an image in the center kind of of the screen so it's like tilted performance we'll see about that because even then in the article they sh they said that they will release an update that will make um, quest 2 and quest pro more performant. It's like you're downloading RAM from the internet. <laughs> but I guess it changes something, who knows, it's about optimization. So less weight, slimmer because of the lenses. On the bottom there's a volume slider and the other one, I don't know, maybe it's a power button? No, this is the IPD slider, okay. I mean the strap looks very much... Okay, it almost looks exactly the same. There's something about edges here that are more rounded and it's longer. So it doesn't, it won't fit the Quest 2 attachments. Fashion interface is... Oh, okay, see? Because when you put the interface, it looks almost the size of the Quest 2, but it's much broader because they want to block the vision. Like, you know, for the light to not c come in. But then, like, how far apart your eyes will be from the lenses because of that? They constantly push pass through for gaming, which is anyone really using it seriously? I mean, okay, <laughs> I have no point in using it here because no one's here in the studio. So I, I don't have anything else to look at. They say it's way better. Okay, F besides reading the phone, <laughs> That's it, like, there is some balance between graphics and the gameplay. To me, the gameplay will always be uh, more important if it's the storyline or just the mechanics in general. Graphics are important, but games hook you on the gameplay, not necessarily on graphics. If you find your game or niche or genre that you really like, you're gonna enjoy it nevertheless. It's like meta doesn't necessarily need to cater to gaming purely. It needs to be very versatile, so I get push for the pass-through. Controllers are similar to the Pro. There's no ring, but there's no cameras. What the hell? <laughs> like, drop the outer tracking ring so the controllers feel like more natural extension of your hands. Quest 2 will be lower priced. I mean, essentially drop into the original price. They already said that the Meta Connect is September 27, and I'm pretty sure if not on the day, then in October you're gonna be able to buy it. I think that's just how the trend goes with them. They will officially announce the specs and everything then. We just have a trailer that it's coming, it's there, we knew it was there, so... <laughs> okay. 
creating your own land. Nice. A fully customizing keyword. Cool. Okay. It's very much needed. I mean, there's a discrepancy between the characters and the world, which is always confusing to me. Like, the world looks garbage. <laughs> Torture simulator. Ghost signal is great. I mean, I think this is the best, like... Space... Shooter roguelike thing so far. I appreciate what they're doing for VR overall, because they're really pushing it. This is the game that kind of goes to the mainstream. Like, you enter VR with this, essentially. Because it's casual, there's polish, everyone knows how to play mini golf. like, there's so many good things going for them. <laughs> oh, is Onwards still alive? <laughs> they do it as, as a standalone game. I'm just curious about the mechanics overall, because there's just so many spells that are OP, if they will be, like, against actual players. It will surely be complicated as hell, especially nowadays that the game is finished. So this was this pre-show. Okay. Nothing that I didn't know about. Welcome everyone to our third annual MetaQuest Gaming Showcase. This morning, Mark Zuckerberg shared that our MetaQuest 3, our next-gen VR headset, is launching later this year. Every title you see today will be playable on both MetaQuest 2 and 3. Okay. And it's currently set to launch in the next 12 months. So let's get started. Hey, where's the pro? <laughs> Don't forget about me. Okay, this looks crazy, but... I appreciate the chaos. <laughs> oh, I will play. You know I'm a dancer because I used to dance in the past. Cool. Are you using Dr. P's notes I left in there? Aren't they great? Sometimes I look at them because they make me happy. I mean, I will play as well this. Um, you don't I don't like the graphics. The it's like I just talked about the games. That's not all Shell Games is working the on. Graphics not being important. They made a I don't know much about Ghostbusters overall. I feel like it's not my generation. The time of the Ghost Lord is here. Okay. Ooh! Copy Strike! Nice. <laughs> I. Seems nice to me. I like the originality overall, like it's just not another shooter and stuff like that. But, Check this out. but she's taking the it to the next level to today. <laughs> because if there's one thing you can say about me, is that I ain't afraid of no ghost. <laughs> is this quest for? Anyway. Uh, there's a lot of happening. Uh, because of the last style, it's like I can barely tell what's going on. Please, no tennis. No. No. Oh, this is very small. What's going on? There are walls. I mean, there's some potential because of the mechanics, you know, with bouncing from the wall and then with the pump. Yeah, like. It's a bit different, so that's cool. Don't. I'll make things very uncomfortable. For it you. looks like um, was it Discord? It's like a budget Discord, no? Uh, I mean, this looks like the wizards to me. The CD-ROM era. Once upon. Oh, they need to explain it because we were too young. I had a VHS mate. Wait, but I thought Horizon Sunshine will be releasing on PC VR only. I mean, this is pre-rendered, okay? I feel like with stuff like that, we need to know the show to really enjoy it. There's a difference between pure horror and jump scares, which I don't like. Like, horror ambience, it's cool, with some kind of like, you know, scary moments, but not just purely relying on getting you, like, just scared, like. That's not the enjoyment for me. That's why, for example, now I'm really enjoying Resident Evil Village. Oh my god, it's. It's time. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> like, I, I can't wait for the playthrough to be out in town. Like, if the horizon was good, Village is even better. Like, Next, it's time to strap into your Omni Direction. Yeah, very much Lesbian. Which I feel like Lesbian Eve came too series. early. Because it's really good, anime adaptation. but not many people saw it. Now, is it the same game that came from SideQuest? Because I saw like a concept or whatever, 
Maybe this is like the official one actually. About me, I watched on the first season of Attack on Titan back in my anime days. Then I have no idea what's going on. Really cool show. Made for VR. So I'm not surprised it's gonna come. This is rendered because it's too blurry. And there are them. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, to me it's very easy to make Attack on Titan for VR because you, you have a concept, just generate a bunch of breathings, take care of the swinging mechanics and that's it, like, easy. No, it's more like a resist with um, sword combat. I mean, there's a lot of new announcements, which is very nice. So there's a lot of stuff to look forward to. And it's so far, pretty good showcase, like, I'm satisfied. You can tell, you know, games are just made for Quest 2 what we are seeing because of the... Um, not because of the textures and graphics, but it's like it's a specific way of designing things. It's like they announced stuff that's coming or in development for like two years and now we're seeing the result of it. This looks really good, yeah, to me. I always wish with releases like that, uh, there will be like a PC VR port for me to play. Assassin's Creed Nexus is coming to the Meta Quest store by the end of the year. Yeah, it got clicks. Tune into Ubisoft Forward on June 12th for the full reveal of Assassin's Creed Nexus. Why not now? All right, this is the world premiere of Asgard's Wrath I don't 2. think GTA is Chaos. scheduled for today. Ah, finally, Sanzaro came back. Okay. It's a free... It's a physics based combat. I mean, this looks round. very good for the platform. Think all is lost, Knowing the cap in this, I think like we'll be playing this the whole year. Like, there's so much stuff. I mean, they are very much right to saying channel, this is the biggest VR game ever. Because it is. I'm like. In those precious bragging rights. Oof. The Uncharted Rift. It just keeps going. <laughs> We've got so much more to show you. More heroes, more, more? companions, more gods, Loki anomalies. I can't wait to show you more. Back to you, Ruth. I'm like gagged. This is... Okay. Ugh. Now head over to order and you'll get a copy of the original Asgard's Wrath on PC. Oh, wow. You don't have to... And thanks to the developers who helped put the show together. Keep playing and we'll see you next year. Thank you. Cause that was fucking amazing. <laughs> This was the best uh, live stream they've done, honestly. I don't think uh, we've got some games that should have been here, though. Yeah, I'm talking about ma mainly about GTA. I mean, for me specifically, uh, this is a very good roadmap of content that will be coming already this year, even though it's like June. So pretty much soon, like the new headset is gonna be like in three, four months, which. Uh, yeah, and now I can see why they moved the Quest 3 reveal uh, because it it would overshadow the actual content we're gonna get, which is ama like amazing. Very good list of the games. I mean, duh, I'm very much waiting for Asgraph 2. I played the first one. It was amazing. I had some problems with combat towards the end game and I was playing on the hardest difficulty at the time because I wanted to challenge myself or whatever. Maybe I became too lazy nowadays. <laughs> what they showed here, it's almost automatic. It, I don't think anything will release better either this year or next year than this. This is like... There's so... Oh my god. <laughs> there's so much content, so much features. It's like they ta they've taken the best stuff from so many games compiled into one game put a flare of Asgard Wrath into it like no cramps like they literally left no competition I played only the first Assassin's Creed fully and some of the second one so I'm very much like old generation of Assassin's Creed I don't know what's happening nowadays with the series just comparing to the other showcases this is the best one like it's <laughs> by far I think just a new headset is gonna be like a addition to it because of course we know that content is king and always will be because we have hardware to support it all of this is on quest 2 already 
if you want to have more fidelity and just like you know better visuals you get an X headset I don't know what's my place with the Pro they never mentioned it once on the live stream which I know it's meant for developers or just like you know business I'll just have to wait and see about the specs because I already have pancake lenses processing power would be nice just for the recording aspect of it what are your thoughts about it? I mean to me it was amazing so if I'm saying if something is good, then it, it was. <laughs> so the Pro, it depends because uh, you have additional features like eye, tra eye tracking and face tracking, which is not arriving to the Quest 3. Let's be clear about that already. Like uh, it's not, it's first too expensive with the components, and second, that's not the focus uh, for them, for now at least, which is very weird, especially eye tracking, like for the foveated rendering. Jumping from Quest 2 to Quest Pro to me was next gen already, not because of the features, because of the hardware use, like with the lenses. To me, just lenses changed everything. It's like the whole headset is based on the lenses. I'm gonna be slowly finishing though. Um, thanks for joining as always, like it's just pure pleasure always to hang around here. I mean, Meta did well today, so I'm proud of that. And it seems like the future is bright honestly like for the past what few months if not one year it's been not dead but it was just not boring either it was less what we've expected <laughs> but it seems like we're getting the stuff that we wanted this year and then the headset and then yeah like we don't necessarily need to wait for a killer application because i think the killer is the whole store like with the variety and just the whole ecosystem it's like people are waiting for a killer no like you need to be in vr and just play stuff and just be here that's the magic of vr not one game that to rule them all it's not lord of the rings you can use the pro controllers with the quest 3 cool because i feel like the pro, pro controllers at least the controllers we'll say about the headset are gonna be more superior anyways i'm excited for what's there to come like there are some cool stuff going on definitely better than previous years. Next live stream is gonna be probably on MetaConnect, but I'll be just releasing videos just like always, so I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> See ya.